Thank you so much. How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News, correspondent for Real America's Boys News and the Wendy Bell Radio Network. Share this video, please. Uh, share this video out. Let's see if we can get more audience. Like the video, share the video, like the video, share the video, like the video, share the video. It will help us a lot to get more people involved and to get more audience involved so we can get the news out. A lot of you guys always ask me, what can I do, Oscar, to share or to basically help out? And, and the most important thing is to like the video and share the video, share the video to your groups, like the video, send the video on a message box, copy the link, share the link. And that is how we get the information out. Meanwhile, we are not doing that. We will not get this information out and we will not, you know, be as censored as we are. That is ridiculous, the censorship that I'm receiving right now, but I will continue. Thank you so much for joining in. I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News, correspondent for Real America's Voice News and the Wendy Bell Radio Network. Good evening to everybody as 12-12 over here in <clears throat> Tijuana, Mexico, Pacific time, 3-12 East Coast time, and so and so on. This is what open borders will do. This is what open borders has been doing. This is what not having a filter at every border will cost. And this is the actual repercussions of not having a filter and not having a secure border. Not only in the United States of America, in our country of Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and all of those countries of above that I mentioned, Canada also. The whole continent of America Right now, it is an open border policy, open border agenda. And with open borders comes a lot. That is the ultimate prize that is the United States of America. And ultimately, there is a prize to get to the United States of America. And it is lucrative as the most lucrative business right now in the world that is the asylum and refugee across the whole continent as the organized crime and the cartels are taking advantage of this. Share the video, like the video, share the video and like the video. If we can get more people involved, say hello to everybody at Getter. Thank you so much at Getter. Thank you so much for joining. I don't know how many people we got at Getter. We got a lot of people watching at Getter. Thank you so much. Now, let us get right into the information. A sect by the name of Lev Tahor, was detained, captured, and dismantled in the south border in Tapachula, where I have visited 15 times already, worked there, traveled over there, documented more than 11 caravans that I have walked, and documented so many things. So many things I have documented in the south border of Tapachula. Colleagues and journalists from Tapachula discovered this as colleagues that I have worked with, one of them, Jose Torres from Routers, Juan Manuel Blanco from F Noticias, our camera guy, Manuel de Jesus. This is this video and photographs that I will show are from our camera guy and correspondent, Manuel de Jesus, and also another journalist that writes for the New York Post that his name is Edgar Clemente. All of these are colleagues of ours that they, we have worked together in the South border documenting this immigration phenomenon that ultimately has an impact directly has an impact on our societies and in our communities. This, it is a problem. And yesterday was this, two days ago was dismantled a sect, a Jewish sect of around 20 members that a lot of them are still detained and breaking news for everybody. They are protesting right now at a detention center in Mexico destroying the premises and protesting that they please are let go. But two of these individuals on this raid were detained uh, as the charges are organized crime and child trafficking. This is how aggravating open borders is. This is how, uh, you know, disgustingly we are admitting some of the people that they have, you know, legitimate cases that they have, not legitimate cases of asylum, and they are causing a lot of problems and a bad image 
to the migrant that has a legitimate case of asylum. This is, let me present to you the note that it was written by uh, Edgar Clemente. And now this is the man that it was one of the men that it was detained. I will read the note that it was uh, basically uh, described by Edgar Clemente, journalist from the South Border of Tapachula. This note is going to go all the way to the New York Post. It's a colleague of ours. It says two orthodox Jewish leaders were detained by the prosecutor general of the Republic in an operation on Friday in Tapachula, Chiapas. Official sources reported the men are accused of sex offenses and organized crime, report said. One of the alleged criminals was identified as Menachen E.A. and the other is Moshe J.R., who were detained as the, in the state center. In the meantime, authorities rescued about 20 members of the Left Tahor sect who had settled for months in the upper area of Tapachula on the Guatemala border and taken to the Department of Child Services in the city of Tapachula. Four more, four more members of the group were placed at the disposal of the National Institute of Migration, which subsequently released them after verifying their legal stay in Mexico, the government of sources said. During the operation, federal agents took a three-year-old baby who traveled to Israel to meet with his father, even with, at the time of the operation, the little boy was with his mother, reported Orthodox Jews who protested prior to the arrest. Israelis demanded the release of their colleagues and accused the authorities in their country of interviewing abroad for the detention with the purpose of disintegrating the religious of, of the religious congregation. When I say the Republic is the Republic of Mexico. Now, look at this, look at this, this note that it was done. But the last thing, look how it is purposely, and in, 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 in a nutshell, uh, I will say it is another look of what the Israel post. This is the guy, the guy that I have in screen, and I'm sorry if I cannot get a better picture of her of him. The guy on the screen is Mena Chen, and you will hear two other uh, members of this sect that is called Lev Tahor as they on camera admit the charges that they are purposely putting these two people in jail right now. Now, this was this was the article that it was released by our colleague and friend in Tapachula, Chiapas. Now, I want to put the article that it was released by the Jerusalem Post. Imagine this. By the Jerusalem Post. This was released by the Jerusalem Post. And look what the Jerusalem Post say. Now, this was an operation that it was on the lookout for months. These people were investigated and they were meticulously uh, investigated for months by international organizations, by the United States government, by the Mexican government, by different governments of the continent of America, which they knew that this sect had something to do with abuse towards children, with organized crime, and also with child trafficking. This was a this was what the Jerusalem Post posted. It says on the top, written by Tal Spunging, September 27th, it says Lev Tahor cult members arrested in a massive raid on Mexico's border. Some 20 Jews belonging to the extremists. You see how they describe better what this group is? Some 20 Jews belonging to the extremist left Tahor sect were arrested in raids by the Mexican government. And it says Mexican government authorities. Then it says Israel Amir, a former left Tahor member who was reportedly working with former Mossad agents. This man used to be in the Leftahor sect, extremist sect, and he left 
to investigate them. Why? This is the reason why. Listen to this. It says, reportedly working with the former Mossad agents to gather intelligence on the cult, successfully managed to rescue his son. That was the number one that was the number one reason why he left the sect to rescue his son. Listen, listen to this. From the cult during the raid. And the two landed in Israel on Tuesday morning, N12 reported. Amir left the cult in 2019 and has since been trying to rescue his son, his four-year-old son, who he was forced to leave behind. He has been working with the Mossad for the last two years to gather information and figure out a way to successfully extract his son from the cult. Also, the, in addition to this, the, the Jerusalem Post says, information on the cult was obtained by Amir's team, included reports of child abuse and neglect of the children, including photos of children in cages. Look how aggravating this is. This is extremely aggravating. And this is entering our country of Mexico, this sect of group of people. It is entering our country of Mexico without a filter. And they have been moving from Honduras, Canada, Guatemala. If they have been investigated, but they have been let enter. Now, what it says on the bottom, it describes what left Tahor extremist Jewish heritage sect is. And it says the left Tahor was established in the 1980s in Israel in practices and fundamentalist version of Hadith, Hasidism. Among the laws of the sect are requiring women to cover themselves in black from head to toe and forcing young girls to wed with older men. This is who was detained yesterday and today. This was a sect that it was dismantled in coalition with the Mexican authorities. For all those people that say Mexican authorities never do anything, the Mexican authorities, they did a fantastic job on dismantling this. The Mexican law, the Mexican authorities with authorities from Israel also in coalition with authorities that they're working with the Israeli government in the United States of America. Now, let's move on to what they say, two members of, these, of, this, uh, of this organization, what they say about this. And this is so important because this is, this is what, and I, I, everybody's saying, let's blame it on Biden. You know, everybody's saying, blame it on Biden. Biden is doing this. Biden is doing this to us. There's nobody else than Biden. There's nobody else that is doing this by him. And it is not only that, it is that we as citizens, we are allowing this to continue, this open borders to continue. This is what open borders, the Organization of International of Immigration of the United Nations is the one that is allowing this. This comes, and this is for all the people that they don't believe that child trafficking is existing right now in the continent of America. It is one of the most profitable and lucrative businesses right now that these people are disguising themselves as possibly migrants and looking for asylum and refugee in another country, but ultimately now they are being charged with this. And now a lot of the members, they're protesting right now, breaking news for everybody. These members are protesting in the, in, in the Center of Integration for Migrants in Wixla, uh, uh, a place that I have been documenting this immigration phenomenon so many times. Colleagues of ours have already landed right now over there. This is a video of these men that they have been uh, staying outside of the center of integration where 19 members of this sect by the name they there you see Juan Manuel Blanco on the left right there 19 members of the sect left Ahor are protesting that they're not being let go 
that the children and the women are being held. And you can see to the right, Jose Torres and, and journalists from Routers, another colleague of ours. They are protesting and saying, you need to release them because it is part of our group. It is part of our member group. And the women and the children are being detained inside to prior investigation because of this, you know, charges that these men are receiving. These are members. These are not the accused men. Two of the men are being accused on child trafficking charges and organized crime. The National Guard has been composing and keeping calm these members, explaining to them that they are not allowed. They are allowed to protest, but they are not going to release no information. The center of integration, it is kind of child services and kind of like the uh, center of distribution of documents for immigrants in Wixla. That is where we were located in the past caravan. That is what the center of immigration is, of integration for migrants and for children also. But the, the most important thing about this video, as you're going to listen to them, they speak fluent Spanish. They speak extremely good Spanish. They speak English. They speak their native language of Israel. They speak Spanish and they speak English, Spanish and their native language. This tells you that they have been living in Central American countries and also and ultimately in other countries in, the, in, in Canada, particularly they say they have been living in Canada for quite some time. This describes you that this sect was detained and dismantled for a reason. They're not detained and dismantled for just because they want to. They're detained and dismantled because there is some investigation, profound investigation with comparable evidence that these two gentlemen, not on the screen, the other gentlemen, that they've already been taken to the Cerezo prison, that that is a federal prison in Chiapas, to be detained and stopped on the charges of child abuse, child trafficking, and also, not only that, but also organized crime. This is what one of the members had to say about, uh, you know, practically uh, the charges that they're receiving. And also not only that, the charges that they're receiving, but ultimately also what do they think and where they have been living all this time. They drove on a taxi uh, and they brought some food for their members of their group, of this Left Ahor group. This is what they said. Let me just translate what they're saying. They are speaking Spanish to the Mexican media. They're speaking Spanish to the Mexican media. This is what uh, it was said, uh, according to these two men, that they are part of and members of the Left Ahor sect, that it was dismantled in the South Puro Tapachula. Menachen, por qué fue detenido? Menachen, why he was detained. Menachen was the first man that I put you on photograph, the man that is accused of child trafficking, child abuse, and also organized crime. And the journalist directly asked this question, why Menachen was detained? Or what are they are accusing of Menachen of? And the, and, and the accusations, they're saying a lot of bad things about him. Muy mal. Very, really bad. Everything was paid. Everything paid. Somebody paid uh, to talk bad about him. But what is the crime that they are, the author Mexican authorities are accusing him of? They speak their native language between them, and one of them looks at him, and he puts his head down, and he says the crime that they are accusing him. Look what he says. Abuso de niños, tráfico de niños. Child abuse, you know, trafficking of children. That is what they're, he makes it look like, ah, it's nothing. He makes it look like it's nothing. No, buddy, it's not like it's nothing. No, it's not like it's nothing. It is a, it is for an authority to accuse you of child trafficking, for an authority to accuse you of child abuse. It is because it is a huge crime. It is a big crime. And you're part, and, and, and this man by the name of Menachen, he's part of it. And let us see what he says right here again. Uh, you know, abuse of kids, child abuse of kids, trafficking of children. We were living 11 years in Canada. 
not Mexico. You were living in Canada. Canada is a little bit better than Mexico. Canada is a country that is a little bit better than Mexico. We were living in Canada in Quebec. We, we, we were living in Canada for 11 years. The last years we were living in Brazil. And also the government of Israel affected our lives. Why it affected their lives? Because they were being investigated for the, as the Jerusalem Post says, what were the claims that they were being investigated for? And everybody can say that in Central America and in South America, because they're accusing us, they're accusing us, a lot of the governments are corrupt. Every government it is corrupt, even the government of Israel is corrupt. Everybody is corrupt. Guatemala, Central America is corrupt. Mexico, Honduras. You know, in Honduras, the, the, the bribe, the money speaks before breakfast. The plata habla. Entonces, ahí también nosotros, los Estado de Israel, lo querían molestar nosotros. You know, also, you know, in, in the government of Israel, they were, you know, they were basically, you know, harassing us. The government of Israel was harassing us. Como es aquí en México el DIF. It's, it's like child services PNG that is uh, apparently there's an organization by the name of PNG that that is child services uh, in Israel they were harassing them as here they're saying that DIF it is harassing them that is child services in Mexico and, and, and no and, and excuse me PGN is uh, the National Police of Guatemala And also right here, DIF, DIF, it is D-I-F, that is Child Services in Mexico. They're saying that they're harassing them. And they're saying that we are mistreating the children. And all of the children that they're, that they're in, in Quebec, in the, P, the PGN. They already investigated if they if they, if they have bruises. They, they, they already investigated them that they were bleeding of the bruises of being hit. They, they were not healthy. And they led us all with all of our children in Quebec. They investigated us because they were accusing us that we were hitting the children. They, they investigated if they had bruises, if they had blood on their on their skin. And they let us go because they didn't find anything. So this is, this was two members, photograph and video by Manuel de Jesus, documenter and photojournalist, Manuel de Jesus, a collaborator of and contributor to Oscar Blue and to Real America's Voice News. Manuel de Jesus doing a fantastic job. Also Juan Manuel Blanco, Jose Torres, and, and Edgar Clemente, journalists from the South border of Tapachula. All of them, all of them. This is the current situation with these sector called left tahor now this is what they say now let me put you video of what is actually happening right as now right now they are protesting right now and the left tahor uh females uh and also left tahor uh, members They're protesting inside of the installations of Wixla. Man, this installations of Wixla, how, mu how, how much they have suffered, man. And somebody's asking, so they went, they left Canada and went to Mexico. Apparently, no, uh, they left Canada and they went to Israel. From Israel, they landed in Central America and they were moving up north to Mexico. They were being investigated all the way from Canada because the accusation started in Quebec and Canada. Give it a like to this video, share this video. Give it a like to this video, share this video. Give it a like to the video and share the video. Buy me a coffee, it's pinned on the chat on Facebook. Uh, we are live on Facebook, we are live on Getter, and we are live on Twitter uh, for everybody that is watching. We are live on those two platforms. So this is actual video right now of the women, the, the, the children, of this sect that is called Leftahor, which they are basically 
dismantling and throwing trash as protesting uh, and basically, you know, uh, protesting that they don't want to be here. Look, look what they're doing. Uh, these are women from the organization of Left Tahor. Uh, and all the journalists and colleagues were outside of the installations of Wixla. Uh, basically, you know, watching how this was happening. Uh, in uh, This is a center that is the center of integration for migrants. It is on the side of uh, the station of Wixla in Cerro Gordo. And you will see a lot of people that they were basically documented that this is DIF. This is one of the members of DIF that is child services and also from the government uh, making his phone calls ultimately to say, you know what, they're protesting, uh, they're dismantling everything inside. They want to be let go. And basically they don't want to be there because it is kind of like a detention center. But ultimately they have been, uh, uh, two men are detained on the child trafficking, uh, child trafficking charges and also organized crime. They need to be detained for the protection of the children. They need to be detained for the protection of the women. They also need to be detained and investigated of what is, has been happening. And as you can see, the in, the internal uh, you know, repercussions of the aftermath of this protest has been destruction of the premises. The women and the children, they do not want to be there. Ultimately, the children are the one that they suffer the most. The women also possibly, you know, they want to be left alone. But ultimately, they wanted the Mexican authorities in coalition with Israeli authorities and also Israeli organizations from the United States of America, international organizations from the United States investigation of the United States of America are, you know, on top of this story. And this is something that is extremely important for everybody to know what kind of individuals they're coming in into our countries with, open, uh, with this open border agenda, with this open border, you know, policies that you let you let in everybody else. Everybody, you let everybody without no filter, without not asking who is who and who is who who not. This is this is why it is so important for people to understand that a filter it needs to be put on every country, and a filter is just basically ask, what is your name? Do you have an identification? Can you show proof that that is your son? That that you you are moving along with a minor. Who is this minor? Why are you transporting this minor to what country to another country? What is your purpose is to leave this country to move to another country with a minor? This is what child trafficking looks like. And this is how, you know, the United States of America, you know, uh, uh, this is why the United States of America has this big problem right now, has this humongous problem right now that they do not, the country that has that is supposedly the most powerful country of the, of the whole continent of America does not have a filter. How ridiculous is that? That the whole country, you can see the children right here, uh, basically, uh, well, basically, you know, claiming to be let go, screaming to be let go. Uh, and ultimately, uh, you know, uh, It's, it's, there are basically, you know, right here, you can see on this video, let me just put the video right here. This is how bad it is.
definitely there is a big problem and let me just pause the video so we can keep so we can keep explaining definitely we have a big problem and it is not just it is not just because you know we have uh you, you, we have an open border it is all the things that they're coming in good things bad things good people you know bad people uh and everything you know it, it puts a bad image on the migrant that wants to migrate correctly documented peacefully with a purpose and with a legitimate case of asylum it puts a bad name of that because now the country of mexico is looking that there is a sect by the name of lectahor who they are allegedly allegedly accused of child trafficking and organized crime and the mexican government and the mexican people are saying what are we allowing in our country if we're having a humongous problem right now with you know killings of women assassinations towards women kidnapping towards migrants that i will talk about that also ultimately right now uh violence towards the mexican citizens everybody talks about the violence towards women in mexico nobody talks about the violence towards men nobody talks about the violence towards men why because they're trying to feminize the men now but nobody talks about the violence towards men that is occurring in the countries in central america and south american countries and in our country of mexico where more than 130,000 murders as the highest in history in mexico the highest assassinations towards Mexican citizens in history has happened under this administration of AMLO. And the majority of them are men. Nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about men being raped and abused in the Darien Gap. Nobody talks about that because if we talk about that, that is just the patriarchy. You know, the, you know that's what men deserve. This is what open borders will do. And, all, and, and, and this is a, a, a humongous, it's a huge, uh, uh, you know, discovery of the Mexican government in coalition with other international organizations and other international governments, which ultimately led to the detention of these two men, that they are accused for child abuse and sex traffic and child trafficking. And now they're the, you know, the, the members of this sector protesting inside of the installations of this, uh, you know, center of integration in the south border of Tapachula.